We are here to improve our communities, especially our tourism community, because they're bringing the revenue and we want to give back to them. So when the minister told me that he wanted to unveil our welcome center in St. Bait, I had no objection. I said, Minister, I'm with you 100%. And he said, Father, that you have bring opportunities for the people of St. Bait because you allow the cruise passengers to come into St. Bait. Because now St. Bait is going to, to the island, which should have been the other way around. So we hope that once everything is completed, we will see some significant improvement of revenues for the people of St. Bait. From we got into government, I spoke to Honorable Radwell Ferguson about this project. And I said that we want to do things that will transform the area, that will improve the area, that will take the area to a next level. And we believe that with certain investments that we can build a tourism product in this area whereby um, people would want to come from all over the world and from Belize. When you look at all the surveys and research, uh, especially after COVID, um, people are looking for a life-fulfilling experience. They want to immerse themselves in culture. They want to experience the food, the music, the dance, just the way of life. They want to learn about the different cultures. Thank you all, and we're grateful for this beautiful project that is definitely going to enlighten our community, bring economic development to our community, and likewise give our people a chance to showcase our culture and heritage.